EVs are supposed to be smart, sensible buys that are easy on the wallet and that will save this planet. But guess what? They are also the way to go if you seek performance. This Nexon EV Max is faster, much faster than the ICE version of the Nexon. And this XUV400, it's faster than the 300 that it's based on, even faster than the Turbo Sport. But which EV is the fastest in this segment? Time to settle that with a drag race. So Mandar, you are in the slower car. I know, that's on paper, right? But you know what, the Nexon EV Max is tried and tested. We've driven it from Kashmir to Kanyakumari on our K2K drive. And it performed flawlessly on that drive, right? While setting 25 records. But the XUV400 makes a lot more power and torque since you're the nerd. Why don't you tell me how much power and torque this car makes and what's my 0 to 100 time? Okay, so your car, the 400, it makes 148 bhp and 310 newton meters of torque. And it does 0 to 100 in 8.3 seconds. That is fairly quick, right? But it's also heavier than this car and bigger. But uh, the EV Max, well, it does 0 to 100 in 9 seconds. It makes only 141 bhp and 250 Nm meters of torque. So, in the drag race where it matters, you are going to see the rear end of the XUV400. There's only one way to find out. Let's race. Let's go for it, yeah. Such a quiet, non-dramatic start. I could yawn. You can see the XUV400 get off the block quicker. And in the interest of zero noise pollution, both of us kept our mouth shut too. Before we find out which car is the winner, here's something you need to know about both the cars. We finally got our hands on the XUV400 after a long time. I remember driving this car a few months ago at Mahindra's Proving Grounds in Chennai and uh, there the performance seemed more than adequate in fact it felt much faster than the nexon ev max it was really quick off the block and it showed eventually in the times that the manufacturer released this car of course is a proper competitor to the ev max it is larger it is bigger than the ev max but it feels like a really old car overall you know this is a very old platform and the 400 is based on the 300 but this is a longer wheelbase longer length car it's 4.2 meters long that said on the inside and on the outside the design is fairly dated the interior also feels fairly dated the satin finish of uh, for the logos and the exterior elements they look quite nice and they do turn heads but overall if you compare it to the ev max we will hop in right after this but it definitely feels like the XUV400 is not there. It's, it costs about the same, but the EV Max feels a lot more premium on the inside. And there are a lot more features too. When, from behind the wheel, this car doesn't get regen modes. It, the regen is set to the driving modes. Otherwise, the ride quality is actually quite nice. I've been driving this car uh, since morning. We've reached our shoot location, driven it up and down this highway and uh, the suspension soaks up every bump it's slightly i think even better than the ev max for touring uh, the seats the front seats much better than the ev max the comfort is a lot more on the inside the cabin has a lot more space because of the longer wheelbase the longer length of the car the car has a bigger boot as well range more or less the same 456 to 454 or something like that in the real world also it's more or less the same charging times battery size there is not too much difference between the two even in terms of pricing tata was quick to react to the launch of the xuv 400 slashing prices the price competitiveness it's good for the customer it's very good for the customer but at the same time you get a lot more in the Tata than in the XUV 400. So let's hop into the EV Max and I'll tell you all about why I think I prefer the EV Max over the XUV 400. Hopping from the XUV 400 to the EV Max and it feels a lot more premium here. 
this car is much older it's priced at the same price point and yet the ev max feels like a step up when you sit in the cabin but the space on the inside is lesser than the 400 the 3400 is longer platform and overall length of the car creates a lot more space on the inside that makes it a lot more spacious car this car it may look spacious because of the brighter interiors but it's not as much that said the ev max is a good car to go touring in we've done that k2k drive and we did it in what 96 hours it was not tiring evs that we drive today i mean that's the usp right you can drive long distances if you have a charging network in place and not feel tired at the end of the journey because there are no vibrations and that holds true for the ev max as much as it does for the 400 the 400 though the seats the front seats are damn good they're really comfortable more spacious than the ones in the X, uh, in the ev max but there's one usp here for the tata which is the cool seats these cool seats in the summer they are a boon I mean it's so relaxing to drive in peak summer we're shooting right now in the middle of the day in peak summer close to baramati is 40 degrees outside very comfortable right now overall the ev max just feels a lot more special uh, everything is better put together the quality of materials are slightly better to drive the right quality of the 400 slightly better on poor surfaces this car handles almost everything well but it thuds through the larger potholes where the xuv does better it handles it a lot better than the ev max only if 0 to 100 times would clinch the trophy then it would go to the xuv 400 but otherwise the ev max because of the reliability because tata motors has been selling this car for so many years now and so many nexon ev customers have driven the car over 800 million kilometers has been put on this platform and that speaks a lot of its reliability we still don't know that about the xuv 400 how reliable is it going to be in the long run how well are the batteries going to perform over time the lfp chemistry of the batteries in the ev max is a lot more stable chemistry it allows for a lot more life cycles of the of charging and discharging and that makes the ev max more value over the long run we'll have to find out what that is about the xv400 in due course but as of now just purely because of the reliability and the overall package i am tilted towards picking the ev max as my car if i had to pick an suv in this segment an electric suv in this segment the 401 and there was no surprise there more torque more power it was going to win but the nexon ev max stayed close the 400 did the quarter mile in 17.12 seconds at 134.2 km per hour the ev max did the same run in 17.65 seconds at 130.2 km per hour note the conditions weren't ideal over 40 degrees celsius a slightly dusty closed public road So 0 to 100 for the XUV 400 came in 9.48 seconds. The EV Max did that same run in 10.27 seconds. Far from the manufacturer claimed figures of 8.3 and 9 seconds respectively. In 2020, when Tata Motors launched the Nexon EV, they were trying to get through the Indian car buying audience with the idea of an EV you can drive with everywhere. And over the years, they've learned a lot from it and built the Nexon EV Max. It has been a huge success for Tata Motors and has led to competition like the XUV 400. What's commendable though is that the XUV 400 doesn't better the EV Max in a lot of aspects and in the few aspects that it does it only marginally betters it and that's why the EV Max is my winner in this test. <laughs>